Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I'm here with another video. This is Daryl George. Uh, he just got screwed over by the dresser system over, and I believe it's Texas. Um, a judge over there, according to this, is an article. Uh, school punishment of black students suspended over hairstyles doesn't violate the law. Judge rules. What law? It was supposed to be a law in some states. Um, this happened, I believe, in Texas. Yep, Texas. Um, oh, and I'm glad that the family of Daryl George says he's going to, they're going to appeal the decision, and they should. Uh, it's supposed to be a law that's supposed to protect students with specific hairstyles from dealing with discrimination. This young kid named Daryl George, this, this young individual, was discriminated over a hairstyle and because the school said that it violated the school code, even though there's a law saying that a school cannot violate um, kids' rights over their heads, hairstyle. Because we've seen time after time about how specifically black hairstyles being negatively discriminated against in the schools, in the workforce, because especially when they're run by racist, anti-black racists, they tend to attack these styles when they're on hairstyles, when they're on black individuals at work, school, etc., Let's face it, they do not like black hairstyles or black people with specific hairstyles. They just don't, but if a, uh, uh, someone else has that same hairstyle, they won't attack them. But yes, this is what happened. So a judge says that it doesn't violate the so-called law. Here's law. Um... This talks about California was one of the first to do this, and I think Texas does the law, or do they even have it? Because I'm not sure if the hair violation law is a, a federal law, if it's a state law, and Texas doesn't have it. Um, well, yeah, this could be a problem, but like. I'm glad that the family and himself is going to say they're going to appeal. They're not going to accept the decision. They're going to appeal because I believe his, and I believe they should appeal because I believe they, his rights are being violated. Uh, his civil rights is being violated. But this comes to show you once again another case. So, um, um, Bar, uh, B Barbara Hill Independent School District. So if you live in Texas, if you're in the comment section, you can tell me maybe a little bit more about this story in the comment section. I'm just going by, I'm not going to read the whole article, but I'm just going by. So it's basically this Barbara Hills Independent School District uh, is the one that went after this kid uh, over the hair of Daryl George. I wonder if I talked about the Daryl George situation. Um, but yeah, this, this, guess what this kid, what this individual had to go through, that this is just messed up. Once again, another case that they just don't leave black people alone over the hairstyles. It's not this gang thing he's not having it in some weird way way it's just he respects his natural hair and now the, these predominantly pc schools are attacking him over his hairstyle some of the ha black hair so-called what you call black hairstyles comes from cultural purposes so they come from different cultures and stuff so but they don't respect it um, black hairstyles. 
um, these PC schools, these anti-black racist schools and stuff. This is why more black people are thinking about homeschooling because of the discrimination that black students have to go through by these PC schools, these anti-black, race, uh, anti-black, these racist PC schools. But like I said, I hope they get the appeal, and I hope they win their appeal. Um, but that's all I have to say. Justice for Daryl George. Justice for this young man right here. Justice for Daryl George. Um, he deserves justice. Um, but I want to know, and whoever that judge was needs to be disbarred from the bench. He needs to be taken off the bench. But that's all I have to say. I want to know what y'all think in the comment section. Write down in the comment section what y'all think. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And hit that notification bell. This is J-Dog. Thank you for watching. And I hope to catch y'all on another video. Peace everyone.